This is a 61 MG A that uh, was having some hood latch issues with. It's able to adjust these two bolts and these two bolts up here on the latch. <clears throat> Took some doing, opening and closing it multiple times. Had to mark this with black ink so I would know where it was on both this part and this part here. Uh, kept opening and closing it. But the trick really was that it latched shut and I couldn't get the get the latch to work and I couldn't get the hood to release. So I had to try to open the grill up. I tried multiple times to get underneath the grill and in here, but it's so far back in there. It's up in here. You really have to reach for it. <clears throat> so in the end, I had to drill a hole. I drilled a hole right here using a hole saw on a drill bit. And um, was able to get a long socket extension on there and pop it open. And that, that worked. Then it was just a matter of aligning the hood latch. So the next step is to go through the, the tuning process. It doesn't like to start and it hasn't been started a whole lot. So I was just checking the spark plugs and they're all pretty clean. So they're not fouled. It hasn't really been running very long, but probably long enough to foul them. But the previous owner didn't really check the spark plug gaps or clean the points. I should check the, these wires, see if they're any good. They're pretty stiff, so I don't know if that means that they're old or if that's just how they are. This whole car is just fairly new to me in terms of how things should be. Uh, they put in a, a new coil. They could have wired it backwards. It could be wired correctly. I gotta check that. Um, check all these wire connections here. Just do the basic tune-up stuff so that I know that the spark and the, the timing is all set well enough. And then I'll work on the, the carburetors. Make sure they're not all gummed up somehow. I think it's supposed to check on the, the fluid in here, see if there is any. Make sure it's the right amount. I think at that point... It should be all right to run. I've had it running just uh, after a day or two of letting it sit, it decided to stop running. So I was gonna work on this a long time ago, weeks before the holiday, before the Christmas holidays, or the, you know, all those wintry holiday things. But the latch got me stuck for a while, but I've resolved that. Um, so that's where I'm at right now with this thing. Here's a view of the interior. So originally this was black uh, paint. I believe the interior was this red. The This is originally owned by, well, I, the guy that, uh, the people I bought it from, their dad owned it and he bought it new he was trying to decide whether to buy a Porsche or buy one of these. Obviously, he got this. Sometime in the late 70s or early 80s, he decided to paint it green. So that's how it's the green color now. It's okay, I guess. I mean, it looks good on camera. There's a few dings here and there where the, the gray primer that he used is showing. It's a little dull, but I think with some wax and cleaning, it would look pretty nice. I'm pretty thorough about getting all the paint in there to be green, so that's nice. But it's a lot of little things, nothing major, as long as I can get it running without too much uh, issue. So, it should be 
fun car to drive when the time comes. It probably has 104,000. I don't think that it's 4,476. It looks a little old for that, but um, you know, like the carpet's a bit worn. It's probably original. Just guessing. It's got a radio. That works. So, 